Hey everybody, it's Alana and I wanted to do a review on the Saddleback 23. But before I get started, hello to all of you. I hope you've been, been having a fantastic week and I hope your weekend is absolutely blessed and as productive as possible or, you know, as relaxed, as relaxing as possible. But um, anyway, um, oh, and also to all of my new and existing subscribers, thanks so much for sticking around and supporting my channel. So this is the Saddleback 23. This is one of the most iconic styles that Coach, I mean, in Coach's history. They've redone the Saddleback in different sizes, different shapes, all of that. Um, and, oh, that's a nice upbeat song. Hope it's not too loud. Yes, so uh, this is one of the most recent versions of the saddle bag. Um, there's a version that's newer than this. It looks the same, same size and everything, but it has like a leather clasp in the front and a back pocket. And it also has a different strap setup. This is like a buckle, a buckle setup here, but the other one has like a ring and then you uh, a clip, like a dog clip. Where's my strap? A dog clip, the newest one does. So you guys might like that more and also the clasp in the front. I personally prefer this style better because it has nothing in the front, it's just a flap. And um, I'll go into why I love that later in the video. Okay, so this is the saddle bag. They came in so many different prices. They range from like $3.95 to $7.95. They might have had even more expensive than $7.95. I don't know. This one was $7.95 and that's because of the python strap and the color block of detail. Um, this is smooth leather and pebble glove tan pebble leather. Oh, by the way, all of these bags, all the saddle bags are glove tan leather and they're um, part of the 1941 collection. The most recent saddle bags are part of the 1941 collection. Um, yes, yeah, so a lot of the uh, the basic style uh, saddle bag 23s were um, smooth leather and like solid colors. So that's why, I mean, th this bag has ranged in um, color, price, and all of that because they did different, different they did different, uh, I just said it, different colors and, um, and the material's not really, it's still leather, but it is a different, um, it's kind of a, uh, um, a leather block here, like a color block, leather block, two different leathers. But anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting all over the place. Uh, so yes, this is the bag itself. Here's the python strap. The strap of this bag, this particular style has, um, it looks like a belt basically and you use it like a belt with this buckle. You have four holes on each end and um, you can, the um, length varies depending on where you, where you set the, um, the um, strap pieces, the strap uh, ends, you know, it varies. You can, uh, you have a number of options there, but also you have an option to double the strap and I'll show you that in a little while after I take you around the bag, show you the bag, this is the side. It's about three inches at the, the deepest, at the bottom, it's about three inches in depth, about nine inches in width, and eight in height. Eight in height, here's the tag for this one. The style number for this bag in particular is, if it will focus, 54547. And this is the Color Block Python Saddlebag 23. And the Color Bordeaux and Oxblood. I love this one, it's my favorite one. So that's the outside of the bag. When you go in to this bag in particular, 1941 Red is the, um, the color, the interior color, which I love so much. What is it focusing on, y'all? And here's the interior of the bag. I love the glove tan pebble leather. I really wish they had done many more saddle bag 23s in this leather, but whatever. There's a tab. So the, um, there's no closure on the, the flap itself. However, once you open the flap, there is a little bit of a closure with this leather tab here. I don't use it. It does secure, like lo long wallets, it does secure, and it does keep the, the bag from opening wider and also from stuff falling out if it's you know stuff that's right under this it keeps it from falling out but a small item probably can fall out if you flip your bag upside down because this is not a full closure but it's very it's very cool it's very nice it looks great but I do use it back here I don't I don't use this at all here's the interior of the bag look at that 1940 1941 red here's the giant creed back here in the large section and then there's a smaller section pocket type area here so it's very, very nice. It's a full leather bag. All of them are full leather bags except the interior pocket, which is 1941 fabric. And on this side, 
there's just one one zip compartment by the way there's no uh, pocket on this other end but um, there is a a little tab here where you can put your key ring you just snap this to the affixed side and um, you put your keys right you put your keychain right here so that's really cool okay so that's the bag that's the bag I love this one in particular here is how to double the strap here's my dark denim which I almost love just as much as this other bag you um, you wind the strap through one buckle and into the other buckle and then you uh, attach them here together I mean you wind it through this buckle together with a little peg or needle or whatever you call this thing right here and you can use it as a short shoulder let me move this back so you can see what I'm talking about there you go kind of cool right so yeah you have options with this bag it's a great bag to use as a crossbody long shoulder or short shoulder it, it um, fits really well under the arm or at the hip very very well and you can actually use another I mean any of the uh, coach straps or any other brand straps that have this you can actually use them by clipping them to the buckle here and that probably messes up the hardware underneath the um, the buckle and this little clip here probably messes up a little bit because they rub together however buckles I mean the hardware gets brushed anyway so gets worn down anyway so whatever but um, I really like this it's a very easy short shoulder strap to use so yeah I, and I love the color so yes you can use novelty straps or any other straps with these clips with this and they do slide clip does slide again uh, um, along this buckle here however I don't care about that very much especially because I want to protect my python strap all right so here is the bag I gave you measurements 9 by 8 by 3 here's the bag in comparison because you, you don't exactly know not everybody knows what those measurements are so I wanted to compare it to a couple of other styles that people are familiar with here's the Parker it's longer it's shorter and the the depth is relatively the same. Eh, well, the Parker's a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. But this stretches because this front piece is not attached to the sides here. This can actually be stuffed quite a bit. They can both be stuffed though. So that's the Parker. Excuse me. And then the page. I'll do this since the saddlebags are already here. This is the page 27. It's about the same. Well, it's a little bit deeper. It looks like the middle piece is the same, but. It has this little gusseted area too, just like the front of this bag. So this can be, this can be stuffed both way. You know, both ends, the back and the front, can kind of be stuffed. And the page 27, of course, is a lot longer because it's 27 centimeters as opposed to 23 centimeters. Yep. So that is the size of the saddle bag compared to other styles. Absolutely love this bag. Right, so here's what fits inside. Um, I generally use a large makeup case, makeup bag, the YSL, the black YSL. If you see my other what fits, you know which one I'm talking about. That does fit in here, but it's too big to put anything else. So I'm using a different, my glasses case, I'm using a different, um, I mean, I'm not using that. I'm using a tiny pouch, small pouch. You can put lipstick or whatever in there. I didn't bring a full size wallet, but this is the length almost of a full size wallet, but it's just, it's a slim design. This, by the way, matches this bag perfectly. So those fit in there. But let me show you, I did want to show you that the 1941 clutch, which kind of has the same shape as this bag, so cute, that also fits in here. I'll use this one since it's a little bigger. Okay, and then phone goes in the front section. Actually, since the phone is so, um, I mean, since this is so tall, eight inches, I can stand the phone up and fit something else in the front, which is a little pouch, little coin purse. So this is what we have. And I've got glasses on the bottom and then a pouch, 1941 clutch, or a large, like a fat wallet, and then two other items. Cream, I don't think my cream is gonna fit. Hey, buddy. I'll try to put the cream under here. Oh, that kind of fits. And then, ooh, let's see if this fits though. That doesn't really fit in here. I mean, eh, the flap still does close, but not as, not a, it doesn't come down as far as I would like. But this is definitely doable. So yeah, 
But I wouldn't use this. I would use a slim wallet. Fits better. This, even with the phone standing up and the wallet kind of peeking out, this can still be snapped. You see that? So it does kind of secure your items in there. All right, so that's the bag. That's what fits. Looks great. Even if you stuffed a little more, this would ride up a little bit, but it's still doable in my opinion. Okay, so this is why I love this bag so much. It's, this is a trivial, trivial reason why I love the bag um, more than any other flat bag I have. I love it because if you notice, there's no hardware. Okay, guys, go ahead and play quiet. I know, but buddy, don't break that down, okay? Not yet. Buddy. So, so a little later, okay? So this is the um, this is the reason why I love it so much. You saw the page in the Parker, how they have hardware in the front. Well, when I'm in a hurry shopping out or whatever, you know, paying at the register, I just let my flap fall, and it the hardware always hits itself or each other right here, and that messes up the hardware over time, which I can't stand. I mean, it's inevitable, but whatever. So this one, which is very lightweight, this one, drop it, nothing. It's soft, it's quiet, it's just a beautiful, a beautiful um, situation there. And, and I, I know that's trivial and many people don't care about hardware clanging together, but I do and I don't like that when it happens. So, I mean, because I feel like I'm messing up the bag. But anyway, so I really love this bag. Everything about it, the size, the, it's user friendly, it's fantastic. Everything about it is perfect. And I highly recommend it. If you can find this older version, I definitely recommend it. But if you can't, go ahead and um, Coach is still definitely selling the um, newest version. And it's great. It's probably as great. All right. I hope you guys um, got a lot out of this video. If you have any questions, ask me and you shall receive. <laughs> oh, ask and I'll answer. All right. Take care of yourselves again. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, by the way. I forgot. Bye. Hold on. Keys. Bye. Keys also fit. Put them right here. Fit wherever. I forgot to put the keys in there. I would use a smaller, smaller wallet with that. But yeah, there you go. Keys fit. I had them sitting next to me and totally forgot about them. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>